Hello, fellas. You are welcome to the channel Tyros Mensin. If this is your first time on the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel so that you receive notifications each and every week when notification videos are posted on the channel. Yeah, so today we are looking at how to activate the COVID 19 exposure notification on your android os but before we we not look at the notification we have to look at a very important thing concerning the exposure notification so we can see on the screen that google and apple they jointly created an exposure notification system out of a shared sense of responsibility to help the government and our global community fight this pandemic through contact tracing. So the benefit of contact tracing is on the screen. So we are going to look at how the exposure notifications can help See, traditionally, methods of contact tracing are critical to containing the spread of infection. Technology can support and augment these efforts by allowing public health authorities to quickly notify people who may have been exposed to a person who has contracted COVID-19, including those the person might not know directly so this starts with exposure notifications on your smartphone so uh, for some time now google and apple have tried to uh, update our os by putting this uh, notification in our phones that most people are not aware of and it's not harmful, but it's rather designed to protect our privacy, your privacy as well. So, how this we're going to look at how this technology works. Public health authorities around the world are building apps that use the exposure notification system to help their contact chasing efforts so you can find the app for your area if only available in your app store so those on android we don't have any problem it is already in our phones so once you opt in that is once you are allowed to put on the notification system it will generate a random id for your device to help ensure this random ids can't be used to identify you in your location they change every 10 to 20 minutes so uh, looking at the the uh, notification system it's also going to help so that people or hackers or internet fraudsters will not be able to locate you wherever you are so every 20 or 10 every 10 to 20 minutes this id changes so that nobody no one can use it to track or harm you anywhere so your phone and the phones around you will work in the background to exchange this privacy preserving random IDs via Bluetooth. So whenever you turn this notification on, your Bluetooth will be on as well. You do not need to have the app open for this process to take place. So it will take place in the background without you knowing how 
or without you knowing it is working so background on your phone it will be working periodically checks all randoms ID is associated with positive COVID cases against its own list so when the exposure notification detects someone who has the virus it will notify you on your phone so if there is a match the app will notify you with further instructions from your public health authorities on how to keep you and the people around you safe so we understand how important your privacy is here's how we've built the system to respect your privacy and keep you in control so you control whether you receive exposure notifications or not but what i mean i think it's really important for everybody's notification to be on so that when you're approaching a zone or a hotspot zone this notification will notify you so this technology only works if you decide to opt in if you change your mind you can turn it off at any time so the exposure system doesn't track your location so you should have no fear and the exposure doesn't collect or use the location from your device it uses bluetooth which can be used to detect if two devices are nearby each other without revealing where the devices are okay so it's really cool so i'll leave you here to read more uh i'll go to google and continue so now we go back to turn on the exposure notification on so we go to settings on our phone settings we scroll down to google so we're looking at services and preferences so we tap on google which was recently so we have the services of google we have the covid 19 exposure notification which is the first previously it wasn't there so we tap on it covid 19 exposure so we have this feature is off it's always off when you go there so you just have to turn on bluetooth and lo location automatically so when you tap on turn on bluetooth and location it will be on so the location is on exposure notification on. so i've turned it on so this app can notify you if you've been near someone who reported having covered 19 so the data duration and signal strength with the app so this is all for today and thank you for your time and thank you for watching i hope this video is helpful leave a comment in the comment section like the video don't forget to subscribe and most importantly share to a friend to broaden their horizon thank you have a nice time bye